Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how you can do master writs and I'm going to explain to you why you should. So by doing the daily writs, um, you'll randomly be given these and these are master writs which are, as you can see there, there's one for diff all the different uh, types of professions in the game. So here I've got a sealed clothier writ and you can see there the value is six writs, okay? Now, by completing each one of these, it, it rewards you, as you can see there, a certain number of writs. And these writs can be exchanged for some pretty cool things in-game, which I'm going to come to in a minute. Now, if you just take a look at one of these writs, so you can see here the sealed clothier writ. It's worth six writ vouchers. And you can see there, to craft it, I would have to make some silk epaulets, uh, epic quality, so I've got to make them purple quality um, they've got to be sturdy with a specific trait and it has to be a specific set in this case it's the hist whisperer and it has to be crafted in the style of malakath now in order to be able to complete these writs you have to know or have learnt the particular style that they are asking you to uh, craft this uh, particular writ in okay if you haven't learnt it so if i look at this one above See that I don't know the motif ancestral orc, so I can't actually craft that one. So I'll probably sell that on the auction house later. So you have to have learnt the motif style in order to be able to craft these master writs. If you know them, then you can obviously turn them in. Now, what's well, two different ways of doing this? You can either travel in the world to wherever that set is located. So, for instance, the hist whisperer set. Um, I could travel in the world to where that is and I could find the Clovia station for the Hist Whisperer and I could craft this particular writ there, okay? That's one way that you can do it, but that's kind of like the long-winded, more difficult way. The easier way is if you join a crafting guild um, in-game, and there's lots and lots of them. In fact, most uh, you know big guilds will have what I'm about to show you now. And once you've joined the guild, it gives you access to your guild house. So nearly all guild houses have what I'm about to show you, okay? Okay, guys, so I've ported to my guild house, and I'm going to show you the faster way of completing those writs. So here, the guild house that we have is um, the Sidic Villa here in Arteum. And if I just port, uh, if I just turn around, and you can see, just behind here, we built this entire platform right out into the sea to house what is essentially every single crafting set in the game currently. So no matter what writs I have collected uh, and need to complete, I can just come in here and I can just run straight to the crafting set that I need, okay? I can complete the writs and then I'm able to go and turn that writ in. Now, turning writs in, the master writs, you have to go to a very different location, okay? You know the daily writs you turn in at those little boxes and stuff? Uh, you don't do that with the master writs. So what you have to do is once you have completed your writs, however many you want to do, you can only um, do one of each type at a time. So for instance, you can only do one clothing, one blacksmithing, one jewelry, etc. at a time. It won't let you have multiples uh, active at the same time. So you sort of have to turn one in and then come back and do another one and so on. Uh, once you have it, you will then want to port to Wayrest in Stormhaven, okay? So you come over here, so here we are in Stormhaven, and here's the city of Wayrest. Now you can port directly to the city, but there is a much quicker way to do it, just because of where the NPC is that you need to uh, hand this into. If you port to the Drodara Plantation Way Shrine instead, which you can see is just outside of the city, uh, if we port there, I'll show you who you have to go and give your craft, uh, your um, writ to, okay, once you've completed it. And I could say all guild houses, or at least most of the larger ones, will have a crafting setup like the one that I've just shown you, uh, just because it's just so much easier and it's a quality of life thing, because you don't have to obviously travel all the way around the world and all around the map in order to complete these writs. So you come here, I'm just going to mount up, and you just run straight over the bridge. It's just quicker than having to ride all the way through the city of Wayrest to get to the NPCs this way. And you come up here and you can see there, there's the city gates, but we're not going inside because the NPC we want to speak to is just over here. And you've got this guy, Rollis Halal. He's the Mastercraft Mediator. And once you've completed your writs, you can speak to him. And there will be an option here then for you to turn in any master writs that you have, um, that you have done. 
And then that gives you grits in return that you can spend on all these different things. So you can get, for instance, crafting stations for your own houses. So you can have a crafting setup in your houses. So they're like um, a tunable one. So if you wanted to, to be able to attune it to a specific motif style, they're a little bit more expensive. They're 250 rits. But a bog standard workstation so you can craft in your own home is much cheaper. You can see there, a blacksmithing one is only 35 rits. So you can buy all sorts of stuff. There's high-end crafting materials that you can buy here with rits. Um, and there's also motif styles, so you can buy the entire glass motif style there, as you can see, for 180 rits. The ebony style is 250, and of course, once you've learned these, it then means that you'll be able to do the master rits for those motif styles, because you will have learned the style. You can also buy recipes here for different things. You can see there I could buy that recipe for 125 uh, rits if I wanted to, and then I would be able to craft that. And once, of course, you've crafted these things, you can also sell them on the auction house. So this oven for a minute uh, is uh, uh, at the moment is trading for basically a hundred grand. So I could make that and I could go and sell it on the auction house if I wanted to. Um, so there's lots of different things here that you can buy. Like uh, and they update this regularly. Uh, you can buy target uh, build target dennies and stuff like that. So you can get the recipes to build those. Um, there's storage chests and stuff that you can get to get extra storage for your house. Um, yeah, all sorts of things, lots of different things. Transmuting station, you can even have one of those in your house if you want to. That's probably the most expensive item currently that you can buy with RITs. And you can see that's 1,250. Um, I've got quite a few RITs, as you can see down here. I've got over 3,000 RITs at the moment. So I'm a little bit chilling in terms of doing the uh, master RITs at the moment, just because I just have so many of them. So you can buy those things from him, but there's also this person as well. So you want to talk for Faustina. And she's an achievement mediator. So once you um, reach a certain level in terms of your master writs, you can then come to speak to her and buy other things. So you can see here, crafters furnishing folio. This has 11 legendary furnishing uh, uh, recipes in it. So you could buy that and then you'd be able to learn 11 um, you know, legendary uh, recipes to make. You can buy the whole dark elf furnishing folio, the deadlands furnishing folio. So it's basically got a collection of all those furnishing types for that particular um, style, okay? Uh, and you can see there's 600, 700 writs and so on. Um, and she has also other things that you can buy that the other guy doesn't have, or lots of furnishing items. So if you're into your furnishings and you're into your housing, this is a really good place to come. She also has the jewelry crafting station, okay? He has all the other crafting stations, but she has the jewelry crafting station. Um, so if you want that, you'll have to buy it from her. There's also reward things like this. Once you become a master crafter, you can buy this hang, uh, banner to hang in your home. All those kinds of things. So there's some pretty cool stuff like fireplaces. Uh, you can buy this hourglass. Nice tapestry. And again, you can craft all of these in your own homes. Uh, and then you can furnish your own homes with them. So that's what you can do with master writs. That's how you do them. And I would suggest basically learning every single motif that you can uh, feasibly get your hands on because that will unlock lots of different master writs that you can do. And remember, the master writs are given to you at random for completing the daily crafting writs, which of course give you gold, give you materials that you can then use to put into your master writs later. So I always say to people, please, please, please do your daily writs because that's the way to get easy gold easy materials and then it leads you on to be able to do these master writs which give you more opportunities later so that pretty much covers how to do master writs uh, i hope you found that helpful and um there are some other videos on my channel a link to uh, beginner's guides to eso so i hope you check those out but anyway thanks for watching